The introduction of the Wolverine a few years ago showed us a few things. Number one, that Yamaha now had an 850 twin in its lineup. But number two, that Yamaha was serious about remaining competitive in the side-by-side -side category, further evidenced by the introduction of the Armax 1000. If you've watched this show, you know we love the Armax. We've covered this machine extensively, and even with a few gripes, it's still one of our favorite sport utility side-by-sides on the market. Like we're seeing more and more these days, as these machines advance, prices seem to be creeping higher and higher. And make no mistake, there's a buyer for everything that's being produced these days, but the majority of us would rather spend that money on a pickup truck than spend it on an off-road vehicle that's priced the same. Yamaha recognized an opportunity to advance the Wolverine line and serve the market with a budget-conscious vehicle that doesn't sacrifice performance. And that's where we get the Wolverine X2 1000 SE. Right away, we started hearing comments like, oh, I bet it's just a dumbed-down 1000 and you'll have to buy the Armax if you want the same performance. And I'm telling you straight up, that is not true. This machine uses the same 999cc twin mated to Yamaha's legendary Ultramatic CVT featuring a 10-year belt warranty, just like the Armax. In fact, it also uses the same cab design as the Armax, but that's not to say these two machines are exactly the same. The biggest cost savings for this machine include the use of SACT ZF adjustable piggybacks instead of Fox QS3s, having active D mode offered as an option and not standard, 28 inch tires instead of 30s, and some bodywork differences, particularly in the hood and over the fenders. In Canada and the US, that means more than a $6,000 price difference. With all that extra money in your jeans, you've got lots left over for gas or aftermarket accessories or life. Like I said, the X2 uses the same 999cc twin found in the Armax made it to Yamaha's legendary Ultramatic CVT. And this engine rocks. At the first press of the throttle, you immediately notice that difference in power. As it climbs through mid-range, shifting is smooth and linear as it reaches top end. The limiter kicked in about 110, 111 kilometers an hour, which is nearly 70 miles an hour. That's decent. But where this unit shines is on tight, twisty trails and over gnarly terrain. I like to find the rockiest, rooted up, rutted out sections of trail when I'm testing out a side-by-side. -side. And the X2 performed like a champ. The Yamaha single mode EPS is excellent. And as I made my way through the trails, I barely felt any feedback up through the steering wheel. I also have to give credit to the suspension, which boasts 13.3 inches of travel up front and 15.5 out back. The SAC ZF piggybacks may not be the premium QS3s found on the Armax, but they are an excellent shock. I took the time to dial in the 24 position clickers to the optimal level for my type of riding. And I have to tell you, with the combination of this suspension and EPS, I practically could have sipped a cup of hot coffee with the lid off while I was driving and wouldn't have spilled a drop. The Wolverine X2 1000 SE is equipped with 28 inch Maxxis Bighorn tires wrapped around gorgeous looking 14 inch wheels and are a 10 inch wide square setup. Sway bars at all four corners do an excellent job at keeping the X2 level while blasting through the corners and handling in tighter sections of trails was exceptional. Plus, if you get yourself into trouble, the X2 is also equipped with a worn VRX 4,500 pound winch from the factory. As mentioned earlier, the cab system is the same as the Armax. Seats are comfortable, clearance over the hood is outstanding, the cab also features tilt steering, soft touch points to reduce bruises, a center mounted gauge cluster, which is bright and easy to read, a deep glove box, center mounted console storage, and a few spots here for your M&Ms and your jelly beans. There's also this massive rear view mirror that provides an excellent view at back, and to top it off literally, a roof is included standard, as it should be. The doors on the X2 are premium. They're finished on the inside and there's gorgeous paint and graphics on the outside. They latch tight and the door handles work great. Furthermore, this shoulder bolster offers additional protection and keeps you planted while cornering. Okay, let's get serious for a sec. It's okay, bring it in. Good? Yamaha, we love you. You make excellent engines. You have the best belt warranty in the industry and your off-road vehicles are renowned for quality. But what we really want are taller doors. I feel like if this area here was leveled out to this area here, not only would it look aesthetically pleasing, it would provide additional protection to the driver and passenger so their arms remain securely inside the cab. Please, we just want taller doors. 
The X2 is built for fun, but it can handle work duties as well. Featuring a 2,000 pound towing capacity, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, and diff lock activated by this little dial at the left of the steering wheel, a smooth latching tailgate, and a dumping cargo bed, which also features standard tie down points and a 600 pound capacity. One feature from the RMAX that's absent on the X2 is Active D mode, which allows you to toggle between trail sport and crawl modes at the flick of a switch. Here's the interesting thing though, everything is fully programmed into the vehicle and fully wired for the D-Mode switch, which is available from Yamaha for only around hundred bucks US. That's a pretty sweet deal, and once the switch is installed, D-Mode is activated. Without the switch, the vehicle just stays in trail mode, which is fine, and that's what we tested our machine in the whole time. Like I said, for the majority of us, price plays a huge part in the decision-making process. And although the X2 1000 is a bargain compared to its bigger brother, you're probably thinking, well, yeah, but I'm probably still paying a premium over other brands. And I'm telling you, that is not the case. When comparing base model 1000s shoulder to shoulder, the difference in price is negligible. And if you compare features at this trim level, the Yamaha is clearly the better value and worth taking a closer look at if you're considering buying a sport utility side-by-side. -side. Yamaha's focus for the Wolverine X2 1000 was to deliver comfort, capability, and confidence to the driver. And this machine meets every single one of those objectives. I have to admit, I'm so impressed with the X2 1000, I might just order one for myself.